everyone. I apologize that uh, it's been so long since uh, I've done a video, uh, but thank you so much for all of your feedback on the Ryan Reeves and uh, Tom Wilson situation. We've got another interesting situation tonight. So the top two teams in the league, the Tampa Bay Lightning and uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, will be facing off tonight for the first time this season. Uh, the Lightning have 49 points, the Maple Leafs 43. And the Lightning are in the midst of a seven game winning streak. Uh, their last loss coming against the Anaheim Ducks back at the end of November. And um, they have decided that tonight is the night that Andre Vasilevsky, uh, their young goalie, will be coming back from his fractured foot. And the question of course is, why? Why now? And um, just from what I've been reading over the past week or so, you know, he's been skating, he's been practicing, he's been feeling great. But why now? Why not wait until after Christmas? You know, what's going on here? And personally, I have some concerns because, you know, like I said, you're in the midst of a seven game winning streak here. And backup goaltender Louis Deming, if I'm not mistaken, has only lost three games since he stepped in as the starter um, for Andre Vasilevsky. Now, his numbers have not been the greatest, but as of late, he's been playing pretty well. Um, I look at the Colorado game Saturday when he only gave up one goal to the Colorado Avalanche, who have two of the league's top scorers. Um, and it's just hard for me to grasp why you would ruin chemistry. It was one thing to put um, Andre Palat back in the lineup after his injury, um, but he kind of fit right back in there, especially with all the chemistry he has with you know, pretty much the whole team. But you're talking a goaltender here. Goaltending in hockey is kind of like catching in baseball and softball. It's, you know, you have to work off that. Every goalie has different tendencies, just like every catcher has different tendencies. Because, you know, think about it, goalies are the ones who see the entire ice. So you have to rely on them. And then obviously, you know, every goalie has different communication styles. So one thing about Louis Deming, for example, is he plays the puck a little bit more than Andre Vasilevsky. And, um... That is going to be a huge adjustment for tonight because the Lightning have been used to Deming playing the puck and kind of being a more active goalie the past you know month and a half. So it's I get it. It you're talking about the top two teams in the league. Um, this could be a playoff preview if everything stays on track. Um, I, I also have something about uh, being too hot too early, but that would be for another time. We're talking about Andre Vasilevsky here, um, but I'm just, I'm really concerned because you're riding such a good thing. I mean, you, uh, you know, you could argue that, okay, Louis Domingue's not ready for prime time here. Well, he played Colorado the other night, and granted he lost to Nashville, and they've lost to Nashville both games this year, but overall, Louis Domingue's been fine. And honestly, before um, the whole Vasilevsky thing came up this past week, my whole line of thinking was, okay, this past Monday they played the Rangers, so they would have played, they should have played Eddie Pasquale, then Domingue could have played tonight, and then the rest of the Western Canadian swing, and have Vasilevsky come back after Christmas. So then that way he is well rested and then, and then you have the All-Star break in January and then he's good to go for the rest of the year. Um, Cause last year, a big thing with him and he admitted it is that he played too much. And you know, I recognize that the fractured foot um, was a freak accident in practice but at the same time, that tends to come from playing too much. And even this year, he seemed to be already on that trajectory of playing too much, despite, you know, promises of reducing his play. So it it's going to be a good game, I think. Um, 
I realized the Boston Toronto game the other night was uh, hyped up and Boston just kind of uh, destroyed Toronto in Boston on Saturday night on Hockey Night of Canada, um, which I thought was just kind of funny um, just personally. But I have a lot of respect for Toronto. Um, they're a great team top to bottom, especially now with Nylander. Um, if they're going to do it, this might be the year because, uh, you know, Toronto is going to have a lot of cap questions uh, in the coming years, especially with Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. Um, but this is the matchup, you know, everyone's had circled on their calendars, probably since the John Tavares signing, you know, back in July. And, you know, right now the two teams are where they promise, basically promised they would be. Um, numbers one and two, so it'll be interesting. It'll be fun. Um, hopefully, Andre Vasilevsky proves me wrong, um, but I would not be surprised if you know Toronto tries to exploit that, if you will. And I would not be surprised to see him be pretty rusty, um, especially in the first period. So it's going to be a great matchup. Um, said top two teams in the league what more can you could you want um it, it'll be a lot of fun uh but me, please make sure to leave your uh your thoughts in the comment section and uh like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and we'll talk next time